Hey YouTube, um, back again. We've got an update here with uh, the display frame that I'm building for Armored One. Um, made a lot of progress today. I didn't get a lot of work done last night because I'm a UFC fan and we had the, the Vanderlei Silva, Brian Sand fight in Japan and had to watch an awesome fight. If you guys are into UFC, MMA in general, you know, Hit me up, chat, whatever. I'm I'm a big fan of that stuff. I don't miss I don't miss any fights actually. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys what's going on here and, and where we're at with this with this project. Um, before I head, before I call it a night, it is let me see about six o'clock right now. Before I call it a night, I'm gonna have this thing completely ready to ready to paint for tomorrow. Um, I'm missing some pieces that are that I'm waiting for in the mail. There's some rubber feet, um, similar to what you'll find on a, a guitar amplifier. Um, unfortunately, the the company that sent them to me got the order on Monday, and they didn't send it out in, in for a couple of days, and and now it's not going to show up until Wednesday of, of this coming week. So I've got to wait for that. That's not that big of a deal, though. I'm just it's because I don't have them. I'm having to do some measurements and and fine-tune measurements where if I had them right now I could actually drill the holes, bolt them in and, and be able to find exactly what I need to do as far as the, the hinge process. So anyway, here it is. I've got the the frame that holds the glass is completely done with the exception of the mounting tabs. But I've, as you can see here, I've got the bolt or the nuts welded in. <clears throat> it's ready to go. I've got three on each of the long sides and one in the center of the bottom and one in the center of the top. Um, because this is a Z channel type frame that I made, let me turn off my, my welder here real quick. By the way, Everlast iMig 200. If you guys are looking for an inexpensive MIG welder or TIG welder or plasma cutter, check those guys out. Um, before you buy anything from them, check out my my unboxings and whatnot for those those two units. I've got the iMig 200 and the Power Plasma 50. Um, there are some there are some how do I want to say this? Um, I guess exchanges or there's a trade off when you get these cheaper machines or built in China. I think it's a fair trade by all means. So. Check out my other videos, you'll understand what I'm saying. There's, there's quite a few of them. So, Anyway, because this is a, a Z channel, I didn't like the way it looked here on the top, so I boxed that in. Um, essentially what it was, was we had a, an open section. Sorry about that, pointing that in the wrong direction. This plate here was not here, and this plate here was not here, but I had this top one, and then this was solid all the way across because of the the joint between the two sections meeting together. I didn't really like the way that looked and on top of that there's going to be a handle on this side so that you could lift it up and I didn't I wanted to get rid of any sharp corners or anything where you're going to be grabbing a hold of. I didn't want somebody busting their hand on that. So I boxed that in. I think it looks looks real clean like that. I'm glad I did it. Um, this is this right here is the base frame. This is going to going to hinge. Let me show you the drawing real quick so you kind of see what I'm doing here. That part is this. Okay. Um, I've got it designed a little bit different from from how they're doing it. They have it set up where it falls in the in this groove here and so does the the horizontal supports here. What I did is I mounted it so that it sits flat onto that surface right there and the horizontal supports are going to mount to the side of it and also the side right here so they collapse in that, in that slot next to it and here in this, in this groove here. Um, the reason why I'm going to do that is because I think it will collapse down better and I'm actually going to propose something to these guys because essentially what this stand is for is for these guys to go and take the glass out to different companies and, and whatnot and show them how strong the glass is by beating the hell out of it, throwing rocks at it, hitting it with bats, shooting it, so on and so forth. Um, 
So I'm going to design this where it can lay down flat on the ground and be stable and sturdy. So maybe they could just jump on it. <laughs> you know, I'm dead serious. Where they lay down and, and they just jump on the, on the glass and show them how strong it is. So that's that's kind of why I changed the design a little bit, and also because I think it'll it'll fold down a little bit flatter and better if I do it that way. Um, right now, I've got some. I cut the length these lengths to seven feet or excuse me six feet 72 inches and there's going to be some cut off of this the reason I, I cut them so long is because I've got to mount the casters to them somehow more than likely like this but I've got to go inside the house right now and, and get the exact measurements on the feet that I don't have the rubber feet because I don't want the caster tire to hang any lower than the rubber feet do so that this way the feet are what's supporting the weight not the caster. The caster is only there so that they can lift it up like a dolly and wheel it off. Um, one other thing at, at some point before I'm all done with this I'm going to stand it up and I'm going to find out where's a comfortable height for a handle and I'm going to weld a cross brace through here. And It's not going to be this big heavy duty stuff it's just going to be some of the one inch that I have and it's solely just for a handle like I said um, so that this way there's going to be a handle here at the top so they can lift it up off the ground but then a handle here so it's more of a comfortable position for them to wheel it off like a dolly um, but both of them are going to be real tight fits because this is the base of it and those handles cannot sit any lower than than the feet so the, it'll be smooth with that but there should be plenty enough room to get your hands in there um, this is actually okay sorry about that I dropped the camera and turned it off anyway <laughs> um, this is going to be raised up maybe about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch between this and, and the face you know the, the window frame and the reason it's going to be is because there's going to be some nuts also welded to that from so that I could screw in the, the rubber feet there's going to be at least one here one on that side and there's going to be one here in the corner one there in the corner and then there's going to be two on this side here so that when they put it up against a wall or something to support the the forces that they're beating on this thing with it doesn't gouge up anybody's wall so there'll be a total of six I, I ordered eight just in case I feel like where I, where I drop the vertical supports, if I feel like this tubing is kind of flexing a little bit, then I'll put a foot right there where the, the vertical support is. But if not, then I'll just have a couple extra feet. So that's it for now. Um, like I said, I'm going to go inside and go get the measurements on the feet. Then I'm going to come back out here in the shop and, and finish this bad boy up. Um, I want to I wanna be 100% ready to paint this thing tomorrow. So I can just come in here and, and get my stove going and get it get it to a proper temperature in here. Um, I'll get my propane torch going and, and preheat this metal. Um, one thing, if you guys are unfamiliar with working with metal, when you're in a cold environment, the metal actually holds moisture inside of itself. Um, never, ever, ever think that, that metal is, is, doesn't absorb moisture because it does. Um, if I came out here right now with that torch and, and at any point in this tubing, even where you think it's absolutely the, the driest it can be, if I start heating it up, you'll see the moisture start evaporating on it. So because I plan on painting it, you know, like I said, I'm going to get this, this the shop to a decent temperature because um, it'll be daytime. Hopefully I'll be able to get it up to about 70 degrees or so which should be a, a fairly decent working temperature to spray that paint and then I'm, like I said I'm going to heat up the metal to make sure that the metal is, is a, a decent temperature as well and then I'm going to start spraying it so stay tuned I'm going to do another follow-up video tonight with the uh, you know with the hinges and everything in place and where this thing will fold up and, and I can show you guys how that's going to work so subscribe comment like and go down to the description box, click the links,
first one is to my Facebook page. Like my Facebook page, please. Show some support. Um, check out the pictures and stuff on there. I'm very active. Uh, if you are at all interested in the company that I'm building this for and, and potentially buying their product, they're not paying me to advertise for them, but I figure they did me a favor by giving me work. I'll do them a favor by, by helping them, helping to promote them a little bit. There'll be a link to their website as well. Um, there'll also be a link to the Everlast website if you're interested in, in welding equipment, plasma cutters, for you to check those out as well. All right. Uh, again, talk to you guys later. Bye.